Connor, you uh, have a minute, my friend? Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. But the ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crime punishable for- Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Is it just that you've done?
broken I urge you. Captain's on a warpath for that deserter. What's his name? Big Man or some such thing? Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me. have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punishable by death. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Where is your mother? Follow me! Let me! Bugger! I guess Please you want a beating! Help me. wasn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business, and a new life. I'll come, and see if what you say is true.
Connor. I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Day, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. When will your boss be here next? A few days. Let me go, I beg you!
I found your bolts. Wonderful! I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. Excuse me. Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? Oh? Traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. Bless you. This will build a fine. We are smiled upon. Prudence, are you all right? What are you Connor, doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness! The baby's coming! We need to get you to Dr. White. No! I can't move! Take my horse! Bring him here! Go! Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. We need to get water. 
Now? Yes! Warren, are you here? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. We must hurry! Hello, Doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she all right, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it... Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Got a moment, Connor. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cart went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them. What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. Honor. Good to see you. Be 
been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Really? How do you mean? You know, you make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better. Only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? The owner, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town, what's it to you? I am the owner? Not anymore, mate. Sorry, better sort things out with your apprentice. He's often at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. What rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stashed somewhere! Then we follow him. Informal favor in the new lighter caracos at Petley Taylor's. For work or play, they'll keep you cool through these hot days.
Well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. You will like it. Gunner? Horace, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe, uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. Yama.
bloody hell. Not him. The time for forgiveness has passed. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I will come back again. I swear it. If I hadn't had this blade, that lickspittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Connor! 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 Ellen's dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates! of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Thank you, all of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. 
I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! <laughs> I told you not to touch him, Norris. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. Connor. Everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Ah, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend.
speed. Why do you run? Leave me I know how one. Nobody thinks you are one. You may kiss your bride. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. And my little brother, Joseph, tossed him in the river! <laughs> Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow-up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousin sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Not him good things don't come easy. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Thank you. <laughs> 